This is a duplex while submersible system. If you refer to this for service, it would be the SO number. It's on the top of the sheet, 508 790. It's listed right here. This is your control panel, control power indicator light, high water alarm, which is activated right now. I filled the pit to demonstrate <coughs> the operation. Uh, pump run indicator lights. There's one. And there's two. I'll show you the inside components of the panel. Uh, incoming voltage, individual disconnect overloads. So if you see one thrown halfway, snap it off all the way and click it back on. Step down transformer for low voltage, powers your HOA switches, coil voltage, and, and your, your lights, and your alternator. This is your auto alternator. These alternators are wild specific, so you can't just go to a, a electrical supply place and pick an eight pin socket up. They are specific for wild panels. Uh, terminal strip with your level controls, motor starters, that's pretty much it. Uh, you also have an alarm test and silence switch here, the horn, and then a silence button on the side of the panel. The pumps, you've got five horsepower submersibles uh, with the level controls. Let me get over here and check them uh, These are on rails for retrieval. Um, from the looks of it, you'd have, well, no, you've got cables here, so you can, you can hook your, your retrieval right off the cable here. Or if you feel better, there's a handle down there and you can fish it and, and pick, it, pick it with your uh, chain hoist. Uh, you may want to um, plan on getting some sort of hoisting apparatus above in the future. Uh, it's new equipment, you'll be good for a while. Uh, this, this, from my understanding, is sewage. It's got a four inch discharge, gate valves, check valve. Um, so you may see some debris in here from time to time. Um, I'll demonstrate the operation and right Doug, now- can you, what's this tied into in the building? What comes out of this? You know offhand? Basement level, yeah. because it's four feet below where the basement sanitary sorry, goes basement. up. Okay. So it's basically just the floor above us. That's it. And um, some of the floor lines in here. Oh, is anything else goes out via gravity to the street? Correct. Has to. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I filled the pit. Um, if you look on that second page, you, it shows a series of four floats. The bottom floats the ready or standby. The second float is the lead pump. The way these are set up, your third float is your high water alarm, which is initiated right now. And then your high, uh, the fourth float, top one up, is your lag pump. They'll lead, lag, auto alternate every time. The idea is one pump should be able to handle the duty of the pit every time. And then you get your alarm for somebody to pay attention to it, you know, if something's going on. Uh, looks like you're hooked up to BMS here. These two wires for R1 and R2. Um, typically there are, is a wire diagram in here, which Looks like it was stuffed away in the back. What happens with something like a towel or something that doesn't belong down there? Get flushed down the toilet? Yeah, um, well, it'll, it'll trip slowly. Um, if, if the mode is bad and has a bad short, it's, it's boom, it's going to trip out on you immediately. It just, yeah. That's it. But um, you'll see a higher current draw, and then eventually it'll trip. Um, it's just going to lock that, that impeller, and just you're going to have to pull it up. Maybe pop the casing off if you can't pull it out from the bottom of the loot. And it's probably, you know, inlet eye, probably about that big. Um, so, okay, right. Does the alternator run? No, if you have to pump down so you're not getting an alarm every time? No. So you no, it's just kind of dummy electronics. So, you just got your lead lag and your high so water alarm. You the one pump, it won't automatically use the one pump. Uh, yeah, it'll, it'll go on to the other pump, but you're going to get your alarm every time. So, if, it, if, if, you, if number one's your lead pump and it's bound up, trips out, and then it's going to hit your alarm, and then it'll hit your lag pump being number two. Once it pumps down, it'll swap its position. Number two will be the, the lead pump, and you won't even know you have a problem until it swaps again to the number one, which is possibly bound. So, uh, so right now, the, the, the pit's full enough to initiate the lead pump and the alarm. I'll put both switches on. As you saw, I silenced the alarm. Um, I'll get it down. and. I'm going to false the um, lag circuit. I'll call both pumps on. I'll pump it down, and then I'll just trip it out and show you the the, the alarm again. Uh, let's see. So there's number one. Number two hasn't come in yet. So now you've got lead and lag, and your high water alarm. It's not going to go out until the level. So your high water alarm's been cleared. I need to test that. I can hit the light there. Put the that's your horn. So you get your two HOA switches. It's an alarm test and a silence here, but you also have the silence again on the side of the panel. 
You'll see the alternator, once it pumps down and stops, your alternator switch number two will be the lead pump next time around. And then I'll just trip it out just to show you, swap it out again instead of filling the pit. And then four inch discharge, you got gate valves, check valves. Um, some of the things you might find if, you know, if one of your check valves get hung up, you could, could be rat racing around, get a false alarm, pit level goes up, down, up, down. And then any debris, you know, it could be some, some bit of a culprit. So. Sounds like it's getting down there pretty good. Oh yeah. What's that water current you see down there? Besides the pumps are going, why is it? Uh, there should be a bleeder hole, but that looks a little bit stronger than a bleeder hole. <laughs> I wonder if that's a little offset on the rail. If both pumps are running. Yeah, I bet you that's offset on the rail a little bit. But that's it all the way down. You can see that lower float. Mm -hmm. What's all the things floating down there? Uh, beach whistles, those are truck nuggets. Cigarettes, <laughs> <laughs> so, Right now the system's satisfied. It's swapped over here. Number two is the alternator, but I'm just gonna jump this just to call on the pump, but it'll probably click off as quick as I, yeah, it's not made. You want some more? Yeah, that's all right. I'm just gonna go where it won't. Yep, so number two. Goes back to number one. Is back to number one. That one. Number two pump, which may be that one there. One, three. Which one's one and which one's two? This is, that's number two. And I'll, I'll just, number two. Able too well. The five horses are a little heavy now. Stop. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, but it may may just need to be seated a little bit better. But it's still evacuating. No problem. That's it on this one. We'll move on to the next. Again, this is sewage here. Um, the only thing I might <laughs> might recommend is maybe label here where your um, breaker box is, or well, you get a knife switch here, yeah, but yeah, here you go, you're good. This one? So this is a sump, um, is this one floor drains and um, This is just swap uh, ground water and it takes the indirect waste from the fire tank. Okay, oh, okay. Okay, again, uh, duplex while submersible. Um, these are one and a half horsepower, a duplex panel control power, and High water alarm, pump run indicators. Incoming voltage, individual disconnect overloads, motor starters, step down transformer for low voltage for your HOA switches, lights, alternator, and coil voltage for your starter. HOA switches, uh, alarm test, silence button and horn on the side. I'll click these on and I'll jump out. Right now, the lead pump is in being called on and the high water alarm because we filled the pit. And I will initiate the lag. So there's lead pump on. Right now, number one, we'll jump the circuit and get the lag fire off. So you got lead lag and your alarm's all initiated. Flip the lid here and see what it looks like. Down the hole. That pit got pretty high. So there's your floats there. Again, there's four floats. The bottom one's the standby or ready. Second one is the lead pump. Third one is your alarm. And then the fourth one is your lag pump. If your high water alarm's out already, it's been cleared. I can test it on the, if I want. That's the horn. Um, as soon as the bottom float flips down, the alternator will swap. Again, these alternators are wild specific for these panels. Two inch discharge and non-rise stem gate valves. And I don't think you have to worry about the piping rotting out. <laughs> Looks like it's pretty good. 
any questions or concerns um, as far as these go so far? Pretty basic. Again, these ones are on rails. Got the retrieval cables. You just may want to find some means of rigging or pull the head when the time comes. I mean, is that something you do? Maybe a tripod or yeah. a small tripod or something. Yeah. I know certain places don't even like to use the cables. They just reach right down and clip on get the, the, get the, the handle. handles. Yeah. That's it. System is, is satisfied. That one was running. Uh, both of them. Both of them are, yep, yeah, both are running. It's a stamp off. That's from sanding the scepter. Um, a lot of this stuff comes into there first, so it picks up any sediment. And then there's just one line that goes across right underneath Matt. These are all auto. Can? Okay. Yeah, I got a couple other plugs and some other things I wanted to put in there. Does that ever require cleaning? Yeah. What do you think? It's, it's, I think it's eight to ten feet deep. It's, it's forever down, so mm. I would say uh, not often. Uh, yeah, something we want to look at. It would be an annual thing. Would be five years or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the big one here, and this is for fire tank overflow. Fire tank overflow. We have sprinkler drain down. Sprinkler drain behind you, okay. um, and that's really it. All right. Again, duplex while submersible system. These are ten horsepower. Uh, three inch, three inch discharge. Yep. Uh, control power panel, high water alarms already initiated. Um, indicator lights. Again, if for any service, refer to the SO number. This one's 508789. So you get some panel information here. It tells you the voltage, horsepower, RPM. Incoming power, individual disconnect overloads. Step down transformer for your low voltage, for your HOA switches, coil voltage indicator lights and your alternator. Uh, one thing I meant to mention is the, the alarms uh, is fused separately. So if your uh, control voltages go, you still have a separate uh, fuse circuit for your alarm. Get those both on. Terminal strip, this is where your floats go and then you're tied into BMS. Okay. Tank's full, or pit's full. It's initiated the lead pump already and the high water alarm. And there's your lead pump at the lag pump. So you got lead and lag. The alarm should clear. Get your floats right down here. And then again for serviceability, you know, maybe some sort of means to rig. And then uh, these. I don't know how you're gonna pull these ones. I don't see any float rails. Should I just pump it right down? Is it okay? Uh, yeah, go ahead. I can okay. put some more water in if you want. Right. Okay, so there's the top of the pumps. Kind of hard to see with the grid. These these are pretty uh, pretty good size. The float tree is uh, coming right down the edge of the pit there. And once you really get on top of it. Okay, you gotta look straight down on it. Yeah. See it. Okay, so. I'm just waiting for that last float to flip, and, and you're good. And again, you'll see the auto, auto alternation. You can swap to number two. Check valves are holding. And lastly, you have a secondary pump down this pit. Um, that ending in SO number seven, possibly 791. That's a, a 120 volt with a float already attached. It's down in this corner here, and this is the discharge pipe, which will go what into the... Just goes into that indirect waste right there, which dumps into the sump next door. Okay. It's so just made to, it's a little bit of a backup, but it's made to pump down most of the water that's in that okay. tank. So if you want to put this on right now, it's going to inline float. No control panel on this, so here we go. And that's going to go out over to that pit. Yeah, it runs, runs right down. Yep, into the holding the tank. Yep. And then, just close the then overflows. Every once in a while, this one scares me because I'll be pumping that down. And that will kick on. Yeah, gotcha. So there's this one in the corner. You can kind of see it poking through there. It's got the floats already up. As soon as that float goes down, it should shut off. Uh, two inch, uh, two inch or inch, inch and a half, inch and a half, yeah. inch and a half discharge. And um, basically the only two things that, 
this particular pump, it's either going to work or it's not. I don't think you can see a lot of debris in here, so if the motor shorts out, it's going to trip it out on you. And or if that float fails, it's easy enough to float. Uh, uh, replace the float, it's a pigtail right here. So I'll, uh, I'll get that to pump down and see that it shuts off. Can you see the yellow one on that one, man? Not that far down. I don't see it yet. I thought it was up higher. Is it above those 245? No. No. I don't. No. No. It's true. Okay, 10 horsepower. These, you're going to, the way it looks like, you're going to have to, well. Yeah, you, you could break. The grade is cut. There's a cut. Yeah, there's three pieces. There's the big one here that I'm standing on, one in the middle, and one in the back, so they can come up. Sprinkle it through to kind of, oh, okay. like, put the freaking clamp on there, but, yeah. you know, obviously um, you won't be pumping into the tank. Look, <laughs> looks like when you go to rig this, pull your plates out of the way, disconnect it at the bottom of the check valve. That's got an oval two-bolt flange at the bottom, and it looks like you get a stubby Vic coming out of there. But I don't think you're going to want to enter the pit to uh, disconnect. Might be down real low even. <laughs> down there, it should uh, click off in about a minute. Unless it's way down low, but I didn't want it really to be that far down. Would have been nice if these tanks would have come down, you know, so that if the unit was two feet up, I'd be able to sit down there with a lot of surfaces, just wrench it out of there, yeah. lift it, and take it out. Could even have, if, you know, if there is no unit at all, have them have them located up there and you snap it there. Right yeah, that way you can just pull the plate out of the way. That rear plate. Yeah, that rear plate will snap right out. Kind of lift the whole thing with it. Yeah. Just pull it right by the pipe, unless you can hook it with something, but it's not PVC, so. <laughs> He's done. Yeah. So I'll plug that, and you guys will probably service, you know, put the power to that when you need it then, right? It looks like. Uh, actually, I leave it plugged in. Yeah. Uh, in case there's a little bit of water, the, the little pump takes care of it. We don't need to run it. Oh, oh, okay. Because anything that comes in is going to be a real big rush, and that right. won't if, keep, keep if, up at all. Right. Yeah. going to keep up. And, um, all right. Once the big pump comes on, it's no problem. So I do, I just leave okay. the plug in. Yep, so that'll just maintain. Cool. Uh, that's it. Uh, if you guys have any questions or con concerns, um, if you need to contact us, Gustavo, press the numbers right here. 24-hour service. I'm sure you guys get a pretty good crew here.